Hey there guys, it's Josh, and here we have my S10, and yesterday we pulled the motor out of it, so here it is, it's a 4.3 V6 Vortec that we pulled out, towel just covering the intake so nothing gets in, but here's what we have, and we're doing some maintenance work on it, replacing seals, gaskets, uh, we discovered the motor mounts were broke. Spark plugs, since we have easy access to them. Stuff like that, so we're just doing some maintenance work. But here's the truck, just updating you guys. Got all the AC stuff still connected, all the power steering connected. Didn't want to deal with that, taking it out. Um, so yeah, we're getting parts today and hopefully be putting it back together today and here's the oil pan and the valve covers which i'm actually thinking about painting the valve covers and the intake so we'll see how that goes but yeah uh did not go as smoothly as we planned on yesterday we got caught up with one wire bracket on the back of the motor like right in this I think it was this one or that one one of these bolts where they had the fuel lines connected and it took us three hours to get that out it was awful but yeah so we got to go make a run to the store to get everything we need and we'll be back putting it all back together pulling the uh, plate that there's a sensor that picks this up but goes into the timing chain cover. I gotta pull it off. So we're using a puller. I made a button so it protects the end of the shaft. And we will try to pull this off. Which I think I've already broke it loose so it comes right off. Now what we have to do, is it's key to it only go on one way. Now what we have to do is take the uh, upper timing chain. Actually we want to rotate it and get the dots lined up first. So we know it's in time. So we got a flat. There's one. We got to turn a flat wheel. And I think that's going to line up with that once I hit it there. See right there, that mark and that mark's lined up. You see why we're changing this. It's got a bunch of slack in the timing chain, so we're going to take it off. Do that, Jim. Be these three bolts right here. bolts off, you just have to pop the gear timing chain off. Well this is the for the counterbalance shaft on the 4.3. Some of the 4.3s have counterbalance shaft the newer ones do. So now we get our cooler again and we pull the gear off. So just about putting the puller on there, putting the button, protect the end of the crankshaft. Put it on there, tighten it up, try to get it 180 degrees out.
Yeah, what we could do is put it back on. The new one. All right, we're going to push this lower timing chain gear back on. A lot of people hammer them on. That's not good for your thrust bearing on the motor. So I've made a, this is actually a harmonic balancer installer that I've made. I'm going to do is I'm going to take a two inch socket, put over that. This screws into the end of the crankshaft where your accessory bolts on. You thread that on there. Just like that. Then you hold this nut. Right here. And turn this one. And it presses your gear on. Without hammering or hurting your bearings on your motor. And there it is. It's seated. All you gotta do is pop that loose, unscrew everything, and it's on. Bingo, no hammering. Then what we'll do is we'll take the new upper gear, along with the new timing chain. Taking a white paint stick and mark the marks on the gear so we know we can get them lined up. This will only go on one way. It's got the dowel pin hole in it, so it only go one way. And I have to do is put the chain on the gear, put it on the lower gear, and then try to line everything up and bolt it down. So off there, we're off the tooth, so we're going to have to rotate. There we go. Still off just a hair. I don't know which way to go. That's right on the money. So we can turn it just as it There we go, it's on. You put your bolts back in. Torque them to specs. And a lot better than it was. Then you reinstall your indicator. You're good to go. diamond chain cover on with the new gasket we've already put RTV on it the ultra black to make sure it seals up I hate leaks got the seal in it for the harmonic bouncer it has two alignment pin holes that's got to go in put it in click into place you torque the bolts they go to 106 inch pounds not foot-pounds. Tell us why that's important. Well, if you put foot-pounds on it, you'll uh, twist them off, break them up, and go through the block. So, make sure you use inch-pounds. Learn that the hard way, instead of valve covers. Get them all snug first. Is there a certain pattern you want to do it? Uh, there's not a recommended pattern, but I'll start in the middle and work my way out. That's the idea. Just to get them all snug. Alright. Go first. There's one. Two. Installing the harmonic balancer. Uh, it's got my homemade harmonic balancer tool. Put a little oil on the clean oil 
on the sleeve on the inside and out. You gotta line the keyway with the key. Put it on there. Screw the installer inside the crankshaft. And you push the balancer on. Once I get this nut tight. It pulls up way better than hammering them on. 